and it was all a painting in of itself. Alright, well, Drybones won, and what is his prize? It is gonna be... 10 coins from Boo. I'm kinda happy that the dual minigames here don't, uh have a star as a bounty or have the you don't get anything for doing a duel in this game honestly that was kind of cheap that you could just easily duel someone for a star no. yeah I never liked it in uh, five and six or I, I don't know if that was in five I know it was in seven and six so it was definitely cool with me All right, here we go. What's it gonna be? It is going to be... Locomotives. Point and click minigame. Keep your trains from hitting your balloons. Points, points select your trains to reverse their direction. When a train's light comes on, it means the train's approaching a balloon. Reverse its direction fast. Just point and switch. Or point and click, sorry. Kind of fitting also because there was like a train room in Luigi's Mansion. Uh, like Dark Moon as well. Also, that is super evil. This is definitely a game that tests your peripheral vision. Ooh. Nope. Ah. No. Nope. Damn it. Also, I think that is the train room from Dark Moon. I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy talking about Luigi's Mansion stuff. All right. Oh, you can actually duel someone for a star. That is evil. Mm. Of course, Toad could get a star for me. I am really starting to hate that little mushroom. Good. You deserve those three coins taken away from you. How dickish would have been if he stole two stars from me. Not as dickish as the vampire candy uh, Dry Bones is about to get, and the Springo candy. Why did he waste money on Springo candy of all things? He just got two things of it now. Alright, let's do some math real quick. Up north, that leads into that room. That's just a loop. If we go down, there's still a chance I can get into one of the sanctums. Just want to make sure north didn't lead to like a dead end or something. I guess also it could have looked at the little mini map in the corner, but eh, whatever. Ooh, we could have something good. Please, anything but pink booze. Nice, 20 coins. I would gladly accept that after, you know, the stupidity that happened with Toad. Lean Mean Ravine is like a wave racing version of Ed Zero. Reach the finish line with your hovercraft before the rival team gets there first. Raise over jumps and shave some time off your turn. Just move left to right. There's no buttons to accelerate. All goes on its own. Go! Love this music. Out of way, you two.
the heroes of Luigi's Mansion are coming through here. There's the finish line. Almost there. Almost there. New record. they get on the other side of the finish line and stuck on a geyser? That must have been one sick jump. Alright, last four turns. Up and down to the wire. Who's using that twice, Candy? You know what, Boo? If you can actually get in front of me, along with Dry Bones and Toad, I would love to use my Swamp Candy on you. Unless he decides to go up and just respin it himself around. Oh, but he would love to use that Swamp Candy on me. And he got. What is it with everyone buying Springo Candy? And Vampire Candy, he's gonna sacrifice. Really? He would get rid of the Thwomp Candy? I mean, alright, I'm not gonna complain because it's not gonna be used against me, and I'd rather have Vampire Candy be used against me instead of Thwomp. Alright, Dry Bones. Yeah, I figure you can use that. Eh, it's one coin. Good. My curse has passed to the skeleton. Maybe now I'll be able to get like a 10. And he goes four. I think he's... No, he's going to be right behind me. Alright, one path leads to the Sanctum. I'm guessing it would be this path. One path leads to more mansion. Either way, I'm guaranteed a star. I just, you know, have to roll the right number. And I need to roll a two or, or a three or higher. Five. And it was a pitfall, but we got DK, so we still get a star. Hooray! The monkey scared the ghost away! And he gives you a star as a present! It is still coming down to the wire, though. Player mini game. Please let it be the best one. Please, I want it to happen in this video. Nope. Alpine Assault. So we're playing Cliffhanger. Or SSX Tricky, I guess. Snowboard down the slopes while avoiding obstacles. Jumps to avoid the obstacles. Move light left, A, B to rotate in midair. So this basically is SSX Tricky. Wait, we forgot the smack talk! Ooh! me at the very end.
It's kind of like a worse version of the skiing minigame from 4. Alright, last three turns. Yeah, I figured Boo was going to need to do that. Still looks badass, though. Oh, and he got the 10. Of course he got the 10. I think Boo now has the coin lead. Yep, I think he's definitely got the coin lead with that 73 of his. Although he's not going to be making uh, much uh, chance to use that 73 coins if he keeps making those rolls. And looks like Toad's going to try and duel him for that money back or for a star. Honestly, actually, they're both... He's going to land on both uh, Dry Bones and Boo, so I wonder if he has a choice to duel. We'll see. Yep, random. And it's Dry Bones. I figured he would want to go after Boo since he has the coin lead, but alright, whatever. I won't judge because at least it's not me. And we got Breakneck Building. Um. Here, here's my rough translation of what it is. Uh, build stuff really fast. What is this music? Go! Now, saw! This might actually end in a tie because I don't think the AI can outmatch each other. Kind of sounds like a horse galloping. Ah, uh, Dry Bones is slightly ahead of Toad. He might win this. It all comes down to painting. Oh, well, Toad might actually have it because Dry Bones got held up at the very corner. Ah, I see. He's using ancient uh, Koopa's brush techniques. <laughs> well, Dry Bones won. You see, ancient Koopa brush stroke techniques was actually the key to victory. Alright, what's Drabone's gonna get? No star, but he could get 20 coins from Toad, and he got 10 coins. I mean, it's better than the 5 coin uh, win. Still bullshit about what Toad got. Alright, Drabone's, which way are you gonna go? Left or right? My money is gonna be on left. Yeah, I figure. I honestly think it. Oh, no. It's gonna be a tie between uh, Boo or Dry Bones in the Shopping Star. Alright, oh. Might as well see how far this gets me. Ten. And. I was kind of hoping for a double 10 there. And Dulio Candy. So at least I get a double roll next turn. I think there's only two turns left in the game, though. So I gotta use this Dulio Candy and use it fast. Have a first repeat minigame. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. Honestly, if I did an LP full of Mario Party 8, there would be 
a lot of repeat minigames because I feel like this has the least amount of minigames in uh, all Mario parties. Toad, go away! Mine. Toad, go away. Um, amazing pathfinding. I don't know why they didn't just stop because there's no set location that they need to go to. Two turns left. And two found himself. Something he better be using pretty fast. There's no doubt there's gonna be a sanctum in there. The only question is, is it a sanctum with Kimbu or is it a sanctum with a pitfall? The AI hasn't been wrong yet, so I wouldn't uh, suspect him to be wrong anytime soon. Actually, no, the AI actually has been wrong once or twice in, throughout this video. Oh, but Toad sniped it from them. Alright, it's a race between me, Boo, and Toad. Honestly, it could be anybody's game at this point. Yeah. Hey, watch what my house can do! Boing. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that house do that sick trick? Dry Bones rolling a seven. Ooh, this, oh, ooh. this could actually guarantee me. Never mind. Dry Bones ruined my plan. I was going to use my Thwomp Candy, but now I won't. Thanks a lot, Dry Bones. I'm ready. Alright, well, one of them had a. Uh, Actually, it could be either all three of them. Although I don't think Boo has the Womp Candy, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to do this just so I can roll two dice to get out of range of them. And just hope I get two good, ro two good rolls. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually find the... Never mind. Six. Great. That was a really weird, like, huge space right there. I wonder, no, it wouldn't have been a thwomp. Actually, it could have been. I didn't see a thwomp standing there or in the back area, though. It was weird. Grabby Gridian. Catch balls and throw them into your goal that matches your team color. Bash rivals to make them drop a ball. Teamwork tip, if you and your teammate don't have a ball, gain up on the rival who can steal it away. Hold sideways, move, jump, punch, and jump to punch the kick. Very violent mini games in this one. Who's ready for some football? Oh man, look at him bounce! Boo! Fuck off! Man, what are these footballs filled with? Finish! 
No, at least we won. Boo and Dry Bones were not giving me any room to breathe, though. We should have punctured the balls that have been easier to catch and have them stop bouncing all over the place. Alright, last turn. I think there might be a bonus star for using the most type of candy, so I might as well use my Womp Candy, even though it probably won't give me anything. And it's a good thing I did use uh, that Julio Candy, because Boo could have definitely gotten me. Not with a roll like that, though. Nice waste, nice use of a last turn, Boo. Really bringing your A game here. Oh, did everyone have Womp Candy? Was there like a sale going on or something? What is everyone using Thwomp Candy but getting really low rolls? I swear, that happens to Dry Bones and me. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Oh, he's using Springo Candy. Why? Alright, that was kind of smart, I guess. He's going a bit further. Five. He's going down. I'm gonna go up. Or, actually, no, I'll use my form candy and go down. Take away all Dry Bones coins. You know, I just gotta make sure I don't suffer the same fate as the other two. I suffer the same fate as the other two. I might as well go down. Yeah, I figured. Alright, well, if I win the minigame, I get the coin lead. And it's one versus three, so there should be no reason for me not to get it. Swerving skies. One player tries to shoot the other player's three down by hitting the two targets on each aircraft. Try shooting the planes down, focus on the targets. Trying to swerve, teamwork tips, stay separate. Fly in all directions, A-B to shoot for Boo. And just fly all crazy and hope not to get hit. I do like the sense of speed that this minigame has. Kind of like a more extreme version of Pilot Wings. Ooh! My oh, Toad already got hit. Oh no, wait, that was Dry Bones. Speaking of getting hit... Come on, guys. Just gotta hold up for six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, we did it. And he's just like, oh damn, those guys are good, I'm out of here. Alright, anyone? New coin lead. Alright, moment of truth. I'm actually kind of excited to see how this turns out. This has been a really close uh, game. I'm delighted to see all of you made it here in one piece. And thanks to such a good show, I watched the whole thing. Did you know we were gawking? Of course you didn't. You were too busy making us laugh. Hardy har What a spectac spectacle. I love that Dry Bones is just throwing his head up in celebration. My ears! Hurty hurt! Too much talk! Not enough results! Well said, Hut! What a bud! Always covering me! Yes, let's get to those results! Yes, we can't name our winner yet! We need to find out who gets bonus stars! You may have chased stars earlier, but these bonus stars come to you each count towards your star total! 
News flash, incoming bonus stars, three kinds in the, the way. On the way, whatever. What kind of bonus stars will first to appear? The candy star, Dazzling! This bonus star goes to the player who gobbled the most candy. Our candy star goes to, that could go to anyone. Delicious coincidence, two players child the same amount so they'll both get a candy star. Oh, that was uh, the other guy. Me and Dry Bones. I think I'm guaranteed to win now. It's Dry Bones and Luigi. Here's a star for you both. Now for the second bonus star, what kind will it be? The Running Star. Brilliant. This bonus star goes to the players who travel the farthest. Our Running Star goes to... Oh, actually, Dry Bones could catch up to... No, I still got the coin lead. So if we tie up, then I still... Uh, win. Drybones, I think, needs to get the shopping star. And that... Uh, he could have that, or Boo could have it. The star goes to the player who spent most in the shops. Our shopping star goes to Boo! Alright, so I guaranteed that victory. And now we finally name out the winner! The ultimate victor is... Luigi! What a triumph! Spread your wings like a bird, Luigi! You are the superstar. All right, for, yeah, if Dry Bones would have gotten that, I still would have beaten him with coin lead. Boo saved me from having to do that. They both tied up in stars. All right, I need to look at the details for all this stuff. All right, let's see. Four stars still for me, three for Dry Bones and Boo, and two for Toad. 81 coins for the main coin lead. I ran away with it with the minigame star. Uh, shopping, wow. I was really a penny pincher during this game. Um, both tied with eight pieces of candy. If Boo actually got one more piece of candy out of him, he would have... I think he probably would have tied with me, and then I still would have won because I still had the total number of coins maxed. Ooh, we were close, me and Dry Bones, for the running star. Alright, let's see. DK spaces, both me and Boo landed on them. Uh, Boo landed on the Bowser space, but we never got to see Bowser. And that's it. Nice. And there's some carnival tickets. All 110 carnival tickets. All right, well, that was Mario Party 8. That was a really close match. I'm actually kind of shocked that it went so well. Join us next week when we jump into... <sighs> Join us next week when we jump into Mario Party 9 with Boo's Horror Castle. See you guys next time. Later.